Follow me in the scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 7 and, and at verse 10. Come on, son. And unto the married I command. Unto yet, the married I command, yet not I, but, but the, the Lord. Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Don't let the wife leave her husband, but. But, and if she depart. Woman. Amen. If you do leave. Let her remain unmarried. No, get another man. Let her remain unmarried. No, get another man. Let her remain unmarried. Something wrong. Amen. The preaching of Delaware. That's right. Most of the preaching in Delaware is different from this. Let her remain unmarried. Because the preacher there don't pick the second wife for you. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead, That's true. Think of it, women. Amen. Some of you may marry a man who already got a wife. Mm -hmm. You can't say that's your husband. No. You got another woman's husband. That's right. You got somebody else's property. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. It's just like this is the year 2001. Mm -hmm. So if I go buy <laughs> go a 1995 Lincoln, <laughs> it's in good shape, mm -hmm. but don't change the fact it's you. That's right. I'm about right, I said. Go ahead, go ahead. So you will get another woman's husband mm -hmm. and marry him. Amen. His wife's still alive. That's right. You've been married now for 5, 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. But it don't change the fact. He is used. That's right. That's right. You got somebody else's property. That's right. I don't care if you the second wife and your husband is your pastor. Amen. Amen. Woman, if you've never been married before, you live in the fornication. That's right. If you married to him and he's been married before, that make him living in adultery and you in fornication. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, everywhere I go in the world, you don't get a lot of amens on this. No. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, you never get a lot of amens on this. No. But I don't blame you when you don't know. That's right. Think of it. You are the victim of some deceiver. Amen. It wasn't now last week I was asked in the UK when I was in London. A woman heard that preach, my God, that thing struck her heart. She said, wait a minute. <laughs> Pastor Jenny, suppose you wasn't saved. Mm -hmm. Suppose you both were sinners. Right. Doesn't God forgive you when you do wrong? Suppose I repent. Why, yes. Mm -hmm. You can repent for the act of adultery. That's right. But does that mean you're supposed to keep living, getting it after you repent? That's right. Now we continue. That's right. All right, you was out there in your sin. Didn't know better. Mm -hmm. Done divorced your first wife and got another one. Mm -hmm. And now you come to Christ. That's right. And you say, oh Lord God, please forgive me. I didn't know it was wrong to commit adultery. I didn't know it was wrong to divorce. Forgive me for that act. All right, the Lord forgive you, but yet you still live with a woman that's not yours. That's right. That's right. So I say, well, God only honor marriage when you're born again. That's a lie. That's a lie. Amen. Amen. That's a flat lie. Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13. And at verse 4. I contradict every preacher in town that teaches that lie. That's right. That's you right. in the building tonight. Amen. I contradict you. That's right. If you in the pulpit. Amen. I contradict you too. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you allow your followers having more than one wife, I'll battle you tonight. Amen. Amen. If there's a preacher in the building, Go ahead. got more than one wife, Go ahead. get out the pulpit and sound. Amen. Use a false prophet. That's right. Good preacher. If you're in the congregation. That's right. Go ahead. If Go you're ahead. old and jet clapping himself. Amen. And you allow your, if you're a member of PAW. That's right. With justified remarriage in the voice. Amen. If you're a member of UPC. 
Amen. That justify remarriage in the world. Amen. You are preaching a building tonight and justify you a false prophet that stand head of a false church. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hear this? Go ahead. It ain't that much baptism. No. And it ain't that much Holy Ghost. You shot around with your second wife. That's right. That's right. Not that much. Amen. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. U P C and P A W, some of the two largest hypocrite so-called apostolic movements in America. Amen. That's true. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. That's right. And that's what I'm here to do, to cause all the trouble we can. Trouble. Amen. Amen. Listen. Hebrews chapter 13 and at verse 4. Christians tell you marriage is only honorable when Christians do it. That's right. That's right. As if sinners are banned from marriage. That's right. Can you imagine that kind of teaching? My Lord. Listen at the book. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Yes. Marriage is honorable. In how much? In all. No, that's all church people. In all. That's all church people. In all. There's one law of marriage. Amen. And that means whether you're sinner or not. Or not. You only allow one wife. That's right. One husband. That's right. Until I die. Amen. One. One. That's right. Not two. No, no. One. That's right. Not three. One. That's right. Not four. How many husband and wives the Bible allow you to have? One. One. How many? One. How many? One. Talk to me. One. Talk to me. One. Talk back to me. One. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. So if you was a sinner and you divorced your wife, yeah. and now all of a sudden you profess to be a born again Christian, yes, the Lord will forgive you for the act of divorce and adultery. That's right. But after he forgives you, that don't mean for you to remain in it. No, no. When that woman leaves her husband because they can't get along, if she wants to get involved with the man, who is the man the Bible gives her right to get involved with? Read it all again. Back in First Corinthians. Chapter 7 and at verse 8, at verse 10. Get chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 10. What is it? And unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. What? Let not the wife depart from her husband. Suppose they can't get along. But and if she depart, if she do depart, let her remain unmarried. Let her no, let her leave and get another man. Let her remain unmarried. Let her start dating another brother in the church. Let her remain unmarried. No, let her leave her husband and get the deacon in the church. Let her remain unmarried. Let her shoot straight for the top to get the easier. Let her remain unmarried. That's right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's right. Yes, that's the truth of it. Amen. But and if she depart, if she leaves, let her remain unmarried. But what? Or be reconciled to her husband. If she want a man, who she got to go back to? Be reconciled to her husband. If she want a man, who she got to go back to? Her husband. Who? Her husband. Her boyfriend. Her husband. Her boyfriend. Her husband. Her player. Her husband. Her lover. Her husband. Her lover. Her husband. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. That contradicts what the church has been preaching. Amen. The remarriage and divorce rate is more high among so-called Christian people. That's right. Than it is among sinners. That's right. Why these church people swap wives like folks trading cards. That's 